Alright, uh, got a match against guy from Sarah B. He's just really a bad example of what kind of player you shouldn't be. Like, before the game, he told me, don't DC, standard clauses, all that crap. And I'm like, yeah, finally. So, let's just see what happens here then. So I lead off with Scarf Blaziken, and uh, I'm sure he suspects some sort of fire fighting move. So I go for the Thunder Punch, because I suspected he would bring in some sort of water, and that's a two-hit KO there. And uh, I am Scarfed, and I'm, but I'm, one, I'm worried if it's Sashed, so I just go to a new Bliss. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's one special defense drop, so I'm kind of pissed off there. And for whatever reason, I thought he had inner focus, or I forgot about synchronized totally. And this bliss doesn't have natural cure, it's serene grace. And that just really annoyed me. So he gets another psychic, and another special defense drop. And I'm like, what the hell? I mean, I'm the one with serene grace. That shit should not be happening. Yet he gets two special defense drops on this blissy. And I had to take out some EVs from HP to put some in special attack. So right now I'm just trying to soft boil to get back to full health, but I got two friggin' special defense drops, so that's kind of hard. So I just go for the shadow ball, see how much it does, and uh, at least his sash is broken now, so I don't know if I want to soft boil before I switch out. Yeah, I do. And yeah, I just barely lived that, so that's good. Um, and I'm thinking about putting aromatherapy on this bliss just because it doesn't have a uh, natural cure, and that might be helpful. But, uh, whatever, I'd have to get rid of one of my moves. So, uh, he goes to Agron as I soft boil, so now I'm back to full HP. So, as you can remember right now, uh, his Kingdra's dead, my Bliss is paralyzed, and his Alakazam is paralyzed with under half HP. So, I bring in Dust Noir, and he rock polishes, that's fine. I Will O Wisp get the burn on there. And, uh, you know, I'm just doing my standard thing here. Well, the standard thing. And it DCs, and we decided, okay, we're going to do this again. And he said, okay, I'm not going to bring in Kingdra, because you killed it, and we're going to switch from Weavile into the Thunder Wave, and then I'm going to let you get a Shadow Ball off. That's what's fair, right? So he leaves with Weavile, and I'm pissed off that he's thinking about it. And then he decides to stay in and Brick Break, and I'm like, oh. Like, what the hell? You're such a friggin' liar. You're supposed to switch into the T-Wave there, and we, I thought we were going to try and pick up where we left off. But this guy's a fag, and he's trying to, you know, beat me illegitimately. So I'm like, all right, it's on. You want to go? So I switch, and, you know, it actually took a lot longer for him to come back into the WFC. He's like, oh, I was switching my connection settings or something like that. And I'm like, bullshit, you were probably switching in counters from your teams to take my Dust Noir or my Bliss or something. The guys you already saw, my Blaziken. And, you know, we'll find out about that later, I guess. So I bring in Swampert just to take some moves. He gets a crit Night Slash and a crit Ice Shard, which is just gay. But, you know, I go for the Waterfall, that 2 HKOs. And, uh, alright, who's he gonna bring in here? So, yeah, he brings in a Magmortar. Um, I don't really have anything to go to. I don't really know what he's gonna use. Because my Bliss's HP isn't that full. So, I'm um, just like, you know, if he wants to set up fine, I'm just gonna go for the EQ. But he hidden powers and it's neutral. That's fine. Um, I got my Stealth Rock up. So I bring in Blissey, and, you know, I should have softballed here, but I went for the T-Wave, and he resists it. But, you know, one turn of leftovers, I got a bit of HP back. That's okay. So now I bring in Dust Noir, and I drop my cam on the floor. That's what happened earlier, and I just could not get it back in the right spot. And he leech seeds Dust Noir, which, good thing I switched out from Bliss, because now it's going to sap a lot less. And I went for the Ice Punch, because that would probably win it KO the Torterra. But now, yeah, I get his Zam. And I guess he doesn't know what's coming, because I'm about to sneak and take out this Alakazam. So, you know, he's trying to be cheap and uh, win a fight by saying he's going to do one thing. But, you know, he's a friggin' liar, so I have to adjust. And clearly, 
you can see I'm able to do that. It just annoys me that someone would do that, thinking they can try and get a cheap victory out of it. And so I bring in Bliss, and now d this time uh, I decide to go for the soft boil, just in case he focus blasts and it misses, so that's nice. Um, so he hit, hits it this time. And once again, because I have a lot less EVs and HP, that's going to look like it does a lot more. So this turn I go for the T-Wave just to get it paralyzed. And now I'm going to soft boil back up. Because Focus Blast did a lot. And he goes for it and he hits it again. I'm basically just waiting for some para hacks. So he gets and that's another crit. Unbelievable. Uh, and so I soft boil again. And they get paralyzed. So now I'm just I'm gonna go to something that I'm pretty sure can kill it and can dodge the focus blast. Cause I don't really have that many safe switches into this. That's kinda why I left thing in earlier to die. And so I bring in my nips are hard. And Shadow Ball unbelievably doesn't kill with life orb. Stab Shadow Ball with Life Orb. Like I must have done like the most minimum damage ever. That was just ridiculous. Like, I couldn't believe it. So, I'm decided I'm going to set up with Sheldon here. I go for the sub. He focus blasts. And it hits. And it takes out the sub. So, I'm going to substitute again. Just hoping for some kind of para hacks. He flamethrowers this time. Because he realizes he doesn't need it missing. He doesn't want focus blast to miss. And really screw me over. So, I sub again. And this time he gets paralyzed. So, I'm pretty happy about that and anything will knock it out by now so I just ice punch because I don't want to lose my sub so I got Ambipom nice and set up here and he brings in Agron and I just started laughing when this happened because this Ambipom packs focus punch and that is totally going to destroy this Agron this Ambipom is just so sweet I swear like it's fast enough and it's adamant it's just amazing he had one more guy left, and he disconnected again, so he's gay.